open up your fractions homework book to the page which says um, fractions to video so that you can follow along on the page with what we're doing here in the video. You'll need to write in some of your own answers. Okay, so the first question I want to ask you is which is bigger, one half or one quarter? Pause the video and make your decision. Okay, I wonder what you decided. I can tell you what a lot of people say. A lot of people end up saying that one quarter is bigger because they have a look at the four and they say four is bigger, so one quarter is bigger. What's the problem with that? Well, let's go back to remembering what one half and one quarter mean. If you have a look at a picture like that, what does one half mean? It means I must take my fizzer and I must cut it into two pieces and I am going to take just one out of the two pieces. What does one quarter mean? It says I must take my fizzer and I must cut it up into four pieces. So let's do that. One, two, three, four. And I only again want to have one of them. So if I color that in, it's going to look like that. So which piece is bigger? Well, obviously the one half piece is a lot bigger than the one quarter piece. And if I just think about it logically, if you think back to what we looked at in the last video, one half was when just two kids were sharing a fizzer. One quarter was when four kids are sharing a fizzer. When are you going to get more? Obviously when there are only two people sharing rather than when there are four people sharing. Okay, decide now which is bigger, one sixth or one third and use those nicely drawn fizzers I have for you in order to make that decision. Pause the video and do it now. Okay, I hope what you have as your picture looks just like that. You've got one third, which happens when you take three pieces, cut it into three pieces and you just take one of them. And one sixth is when you cut it into six pieces and just take one of them. Which piece is bigger? Well, it's quite clear to see that your one third piece is bigger. And again, that makes sense. If you're just sharing your fizzer with, if it's just three people sharing the fizzer, it's obviously going to get a bigger chunk than if it's six people sharing the fizzer. Okay. Again, have a look and decide which is bigger, two-sixths or two-thirds. Pause the video and decide. Well, hopefully you immediately said, well, look, we've just looked at the fact that one-third is bigger than one-sixth. So obviously, if I have two-thirds, which are just two of the thirds, it'll be bigger than two of the sixes. But we can draw a picture as well. So if we want to know what two sixths looks like, we take the fizzer, we cut it into six pieces, and in this case we take two of those six pieces. What does two thirds look like? Well we cut it into three pieces, but this time we take two of those three pieces, which is bigger, the picture tells us very obviously that your two thirds is bigger. Let's just have a look at the last question quickly. Five sixths or two thirds? Which of those do you think is going to be bigger? Pause the video and decide. Hopefully by now you came up very easily with the following picture. For five-sixths, you cut it into six pieces and you took five of them. 
For two thirds, you cut it into three pieces and you took two of them. You can immediately then see that your five sixths is a much bigger chunk than your two thirds. So the answer to this question is that five sixths is bigger.